The Planters Peanuts Company was established in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania by a young Italian immigrant named Amadio Abici. It was there that he purchased a peanut roaster and opened a fruit stand selling roasted peanuts as his specialty. After a few years of fruit stand success, Obici invested in a horse and a wagon and gave himself the nickname the Peanut Specialist. In 1906, he agreed to enter a partnership with Mario Peruzzi. Together they opened up the Planters Peanut business with only two roasters and six employees. Little did they know that the small shop would grow into the world's largest nut company. In 1918, Planters first advertised in the Saturday Evening Post, becoming the first roasted nut ever advertised. They then introduced the Nickel Lunch Campaign, selling one ounce bags of freshly packaged peanuts for five cents. The iconic Mr. Peanut character was developed in 1916 from a sketch submitted by a grade school student. It has been used in advertising since then with only a little bit of updating, including the addition of the familiar monocle, top hat, and cane. In the 1930s, the company opened hundreds of planters peanut shops across the United States. Large Mr. Peanut signs were situated in front of the shops and were famous roadside attractions, especially for those families taking road trips. Shops sold a variety of toys and figurines in addition to candy and sacks of peanuts. The aroma of roasted peanuts filled the shops and drew people in. Often someone dressed as Mr. Peanut greeted guests in front of the store and waved at passing cars. Some shops even had windows that allowed customers to watch the nuts being roasted and the candies being made. The nuts were scooped out of stainless steel pans that were kept under hot lamps in a glass case. By 1960, there were stores in more than 200 cities across the United States. In 
1961, Planters was acquired by Standard Brands, which was not interested in the retail business. They began to phase out its retail shops, concentrating instead on supermarket sales. The stores were then either closed or sold. About a dozen stores still continue to operate independently in the eastern United States. If you happen to be in Akron, Ohio, Lansing, Michigan, or Memphis, Tennessee, go on in. The aroma will evoke memories from the past when life was much more simple. <laughs> 